Hi, my name is Stacy, and today we are going to knit the zigzag dishcloth. This is a free download on our website, and it's a great pattern for beginners or for those who haven't uh, read charts before. It is written out, but it's also a great way to learn how to read charts. So what you'll need is you'll need to download the pattern. It is free on the website. Just search for zigzag, and you'll need uh, some dishy. You can get a skein of dishy, and you can get several dishcloths out of it. You also need a set of needles. I'm using circulars, but you can all easily use straights. And this is what it's going to look like when it's complete. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast on 40 stitches. And we are going to knit in six rows, just plain old knit. This is garter stitch. This creates a nice border for your for your pattern or for your dish cloth. Then we're going to get started on the, the zigzag stitch pattern. You'll want to keep in mind that the first five stitches and the last five stitches of each row will be in garter, and that'll that'll continue the border up the side. I always use stitch markers to mark where the border is. Just helps you to remember to to knit those stitches. So let's get started. So we're going to knit our five stitches. And then we're going to get started on the pattern. Row one is knit three and purl two, knit one, and that's going to be all the way across. And you'll notice down below that the chart is here. And you'll see row one, that's just, you're going to read it um, from uh, right to left. And that is one, two, three knit stitches, two purl stitches, and one knit stitch. So we're going to go all the way across that row. So let's do that. So knit three and purl two. And then knit one. You can also place stitch markers between the the repeats if you, that makes it easier to remember to switch. So let's go ahead and finish that row. We'll meet back here and we'll start on row two. Okay, so we are now going to be on row two. This is going to be the wrong side of the pattern. We have that marked on the pattern here. And we're going to knit our five stitches in garter for the border. And then if you notice down on the uh, chart, you notice that the two is on the left hand side. That means we're going to start here and work our way left to right. So, and then you also notice, since we're on the wrong side, that the symbols switch. So the blank spaces are actually a purl stitch, and the dots are actually a knit stitch. So we are going to purl two, knit two, purl two, all the way across the, the row. So let's get started. I've knit the five stitches for our border, and now we're going to purl two, and knit two. And then we're going to purl two, And then we're at the end of our repeat. So we're just going to repeat that all the way across your dishcloth. So we're going to purl two, and then knit two. All right, and we'll finish up this row, and we'll meet you back here for row three. OK, so let's get started on row three. We're back on the right side again, so you notice the three on the chart is on the right again. So we're going to work across. So it's knit one, purl two, knit three. So we'll go ahead and knit one, purl two, and knit three. So that's our first repeat. We're going to repeat that all the way across the row. And we'll see you back here for row four. 
Okay, we're back on the wrong side. We're going to start on row four. So we're going to start here. We're going to work across. And remember that the, the symbols get, get switched. So on the wrong side, the blank squares mean purl stitch. So we're going to purl four stitches and then knit two stitches. So let's get started. So we're going to just purl. And then we're going to knit two stitches. <clears throat> And we're going to continue that all the way across the row. And we'll come back here and we'll start on row five. All right, now we are going to start on row five. And you'll, we're, you'll notice that your, zig, your um, zigzag, or zigzag, if you're German, is starting to take, take shape. So you'll see the purl stitches are all moving to the right. And now we're just going to move them all to the left. So let's get started. So in row five, we are going to knit one, purl two, and knit three. So knit one, purl two, and then knit three more. All right, and that's our first set. We're going to continue that across the row, and we'll get started on to row six. Okay, so let's get started on row six. We're back on the wrong side, so we're reading from this direction. So we're going to purl two, knit two, and then purl two again. We're going to repeat that all the way across. So we're going to purl two, and knit two. Knit purl two. All right, we finished that first repeat. So we're gonna repeat that all the way across the row and include your five garter stitch on the edge there. And we'll come back here and we're almost done. So row seven. All right, so we're back on the right side. We're on row seven. We're going to start from the right side. We're going to knit three, purl two, and knit one. So let's get started. So we're going to knit our five garter stitches. Don't forget that. That'll keep your dishcloth from curling on the edges and it just look, makes it look nicer. So we're knitting those five stitches and then we're gonna start on the pattern repeat. We're going to knit three, Then we're going to purl two. And then we're going to knit one more. And we're going to repeat that all the way across the row. And then meet back here and we'll finish this one up. All right, so we're on the last row. We're back on the wrong side. So we're going to read across the chart. It, we are going to knit two and then purl four. So we're going to knit two, and then we're going to purl four, and we're going to repeat it across the row, like we have been doing. And we'll go ahead and meet back here and finish up this tutorial. All right, so we finished our first repeat and you're actually going to repeat that four more times. I already did a repeat, so it'll be it'll look a little different. You can actually go farther if you'd like. If you want to make your dishcloth a little bit longer, like a hand towel, you can just keep repeating these um, eight rows um, for as long as you want. And then at the end, you're going to go ahead and you're going to knit six rows. So you'll continue that garter border and you'll be complete. You'll see the nice little zigzag across your dishcloth. And that's how you knit the zigzag dishcloth. <laughs>